it's really hard to not offend anyone these days. And that was in 2009. <laughs> Welcome back to class, everyone, where I'm going to teach you how to act like we mean it. That's right. Now let's start with some warm ups. Hi, I'm Alex Rimmer, and if you want to be famous, then you're going to need me. I know the ins and outs of being a successful actor, and with my help, you'll be famous in no time. Twelve years ago, I was the star of a documentary about my illustrious career in teaching college theater. And even though the internet gobbled it up, I am living proof that fame does not always equal fortune. Because after all these years, I'm still here teaching students how to look their best on camera. At the Alex Rimmer screen acting class, I'll teach you your good angles, your bad angles, and what your typecast is. What do you see when you look at this? Too tall. Boring. Depressed. Oh, my students love me. You're cheap and ugly, and you are a fraud! All right, hold. Can anyone tell me why that delivery sucked so much? I'm doing my best. And that's your opinion. Guys, why does she suck? Is this where the cosplay class is? That's at 12 o'clock, Mr. Lipton. I got this space for another 20 minutes. But I was told the cosplay club was here. I need here. you to leave. Oh, come get, on. Get the f out. Give me a break. God damn it. Get the out. The hell with you. I'm out of here. Do I enjoy teaching people how to act? I enjoy teaching people how to behave, and that's all acting really is, is just manufactured behavior. All right, drop it in the device dungeon, kiddo. My mom's in the hospital. And you're about to join her. It's so easy for Gen Z to get distracted, so it's my job to keep them focused. Keep reading. Actors don't notice the critics. Who is thou, sweetest? I think I know why I suck. Why is that? Those people in the back, they've been watching us, and I don't think they've paid for this class. Hey, freeloaders, you want to get the f out now, please? Whenever you feel like getting the f out. Okay, everyone else get the f out now. Get out now, or I'll shoot up this whole goddamn- Thank you for your money. Thank you for your time. Which one could argue is considerably more valuable these days, so let's make this fast. My name is Victor Ball. Holy sh Wait, the Victor Ball, as in- Ball Pictures, yes. It's the largest media empire in Hollywood. You can't top that with whipped cream. We're very rich. And lucky you, we need your help. It's our son. Daddy, I have fantastic news. Son, we're in the middle of business. I finished my movie and I'm ready for you to make it. No, 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 don't clap for that. My son has very poor taste. Make my movie! Make my movie! Make my movie! This movie is garbage. I know, dear. Does he actually think we'll finance this? <laughs> what would that say about us? That we raised a lousy writer? Well, we did. They were your eggs. That was your semen! <laughs> well, hey there. I can make anything look good on camera. Then the idea came to me. Now let's talk about my prices. Why would we pay for a whole production when we could just pay for you? We need you to make our son's movie. Okay, but this script is it's pure caca. I mean, Netflix wouldn't touch this with a pole. That's what we told him. He just said to us, You would have known art if it f***ed you in a paint store! I mean, what audience is this even for? It's for everyone! Mr. Bolton, no one in their right mind would make this movie. And that's why you're, you're going to. Haven't you been teaching long enough, Alex? I'll do what I want and I'll be who I want. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's take this into my office. Let's go. I mean, I'll need to find crew, sets, costumes. You want me to pull all of this off without a budget? You'll find a way. You can't afford not to. Your life's too shitty. Mr. Ball, it's not that simple. Find a way. Then call us when you do. Luckily, one of my former students happens to be a movie director. I've been directing adult films basically since the end of theater class. Do better. I give my uncle more than that. Harder! Ah! Too hard! What can I say? I love cinema. God damn it! Who's gonna clean this up? Look what you did to Dennis! Do you think twinks grow on trees around here? Um, yeah, uh, take five, everyone. And that better be done bleeding by the time I get back. Jamie Bolton. After all these years. Wow. You don't look like you've eaten since I've seen you. <laughs> you look like you have. Homophobe. Homosexual. I need help. The script is garbage. I know, yeah. But I've been wanting to direct something with a bigger budget, so... You said his parents are rich? They, yeah, but I don't think they're gonna pay much for this. Well, I'm not directing this shit unless you give me a budget. A budget of what? Money. Damn it. And you're gonna need a cast, which means you need to find actors willing to say this dialogue. 
And we're dolphins, and we are dolphins. We are being dolphins, people. Felicity, have you ever seen a dolphin? No. Okay. What the f***, bro? Like, our teacher thinks this is gonna help us be actors? Everyone halt. We have a student who didn't pay for this class. Please, like you ever paid for any of mine. <laughs> I didn't mind it, though. You know, Mason was always my best student. In fact, taking my class inspired him to become a teacher himself. Um, isn't that the guy the school said to stay away from if we see him? That doesn't even look like me. Look, Mason, I need your help with something. Of course. You're the whole reason I have this job. I'll do anything for you. Absolutely not. This script is f***ing garbage. Look, Mason, I just need a few actors. So you came here to poach my students? Look, it's not my fault. College kids say yes to everything. Isn't that right, guys? I know that. <laughs> if they're interested, let them read the script and decide for themselves. All right, guys, what do you think? Yeah. Okay, okay, I know it's bad! Never bring text like that onto this campus again! Everybody spit on her! <laughs> Hey, Alex. Oh, more trash. That's what is. What the f is this? You remember Linda and Dean Shaft? Uh, those were their names. Well, they're influencers now. I'm Lindy. And I'm Shafty. And, and we're, we're just, just a couple, couple of college kids, kids trying, trying to get through life. I'm 26 years old. My students showed me some of the content they create, and by the looks of it, they'll do anything. Well, they should be here any second now. So, you know, fun fact, they actually used to hate each other, and now they're working with each other. How about it? What the f That was good. Now, do it realistic. That was real. Yeah, real lackluster. No, it's perfect. Look! What the Don't post that. It's done. It's viral. It's not even funny. Ah! It's you! There's no setup. There's no context. It's all just punchline. That's what people want now, dude. There's no time for plot or narrative. Well, that's stupid. That's like having sex with just the orchid. Oh, actually, oh. I need money. <laughs> so is that a yes? You don't think we have money, do you? Well, I do. You Aren't you two TikToking your way to the top? I am telling you that we are woke and broke. Damn it. But you know who does have money, right? No, absolutely not. Karen. <laughs> she's rich, and she's the only one of us who is. You try sleeping knowing that a goblin is your last resort. And the more I tried denying it to myself, the more she got under my skin. I had salmon for lunch. Thank you all for being here tonight. You said you'd pay us to be here. Not in writing. Look, guys, I'm trying to get money from Karen, but, but she, she hates, hates you. you. Yes, I know that. Thank you for that. But she might listen to you guys, which is why I'm asking you to... Help you ask her for money. Is that a crime, Mason? Well, what's in it for us, Mr. Rimmer? Aww, you still call me Mr. Well, how else do you say your first name, dummy? Yeah, okay. Look, I'll give you each a role in this movie, and if Karen invests as much as I'm hoping she will, you could all have a pretty penny in your pocket by Christmas. I'm in. You had me at money. Good. Now, I did a bit of a deep dive on Karen's current situation. Turns out she became a well-published author with some bullshit bestseller called F Acting Teachers, Why They Are Overpaid and Also Should Die. She sold enough copies to outright buy the goddamn college. This is Karen land where no one is allowed. Get the f*** out! Go! As a way of reclaiming all of her bad memories from that place. Hold on. We know all this. Now you do- wait, how? Google. Did you know she got married to Caden? What? No, wait, hold on, I need to add this to the board. But it didn't last long. They hated each other. Okay, wait, hold on, they hated each other. After she made her first million, she said, I'm leaving you, Kaden. And he was like, what? But I got a tattoo for you, bitch. Then she was like, well, this pussy's bouncing off to find a man with income. She had him sent to prison for assaulting her hand with his face. She's more lethal now than ever before. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, she is in a wheelchair because of you. Still. What part of permanently paralyzed is confusing to you? It's been 12 years, Mason. She can call it a wheelchair, I call it a choice. Oh, that's offensive. One day, he's gonna open his mouth and get himself shot. No! Well, it looks like this is the place. What gave it away? It gives you chills, doesn't it? Hello. <laughs> She's been expecting you. There she is. How you doing, Care Bear? Wow. 
You brought the whole gang to me. Well, we all just missed you so much. Yeah, and we were just talking about how sorry we are about laughing at you all the time, and your dead mom, and your weird feet, and your bad acting, and your acne all the Guys, time. Guys, are we getting locked in? I've been waiting for this woman for 12 goddamn years. I really hope you're acting right now because, Karen, this is the performance of a lifetime. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy doing- Scatter! <laughs> Son of a bitch! I called it, right? Oh, sh- Today we celebrate the life and legacy of Karen Shu, with all of the friends and family she left behind. May you rest in peace, knowing you were cremated at the Maribel Morgue, where the service is so nice, you'll want to die twice. Hi, excuse me. Hmm? What happens to her money? What? Her fortune, dumbass. Where does it go? You'll have to talk to a lawyer about that. Oh, then why the f*** are we here? I will go anywhere I'm paid. Then why don't you go to hell? Jesus! Well, I hate to be a bad news bear, Mr. Job. It's Rimmer. It looks like Karen liquidated all her assets and spent everything she had on this college. Well, I know what we gotta do. We gotta burn this place down. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. She did leave behind this. What the hell is that? Beats me with a hammer. All I know is it can only be opened with her husband's fingerprint. left this behind and I need your fingerprint to open it. Bail me out and I'll open your box. No deal. I don't care how low your bail is set. I will see to it that you rot in here where you belong, you piece of shit. All right, now open this. I'm gonna need a ride to town first. God damn you, like I would be dumb enough to let you alone in my car with me. All right, now open this. We're in the middle of nowhere, dick. I'm not touching that thing until you at least drop me off downtown. I wouldn't drop you off at a goddamn Arby's till you open this thing. Thank you. It also came with this. What's that? Ah! Uh, you piece of shit! Well, it was nothing. Well, it was worth a try. I'm still willing to do this if you are, okay? We don't need a big budget to make a movie. We don't even need a little bit of money. I mean, look at all the things we did back when we were still broke. But you're still broke. Exactly. Which is why I'm hoping you'll help me. Well, it looks like I'm doing this on my own. I don't have a budget and I don't have a crew, but I am determined to do whatever it takes to make your son's movie happen. Good. So when are you scheduled to arrive? What? Well, in Los Angeles, of course. As executive producer, our son is going to want to keep a close eye on your production. I'll let you pitch any movie you want to my company. Any story you want to make, any role you want to play, it's yours, if you help my son. I mean, what choice do I have? I need this. Well, I mean, I guess I can move some things around in my schedule, but it's not going to be easy. Too big. Too big. You're too big. I need to ride home. You know, I'm literally about to drive to Los Angeles right now. That's what I was hoping for. But I want to direct this movie. Okay, but you said you wouldn't direct this movie unless I had a budget. I'm watching a man give the full circumference of his hole to a movie that'll never fly. There's no budget that can match that kind of desperation. You really want to put your faith in me. You remember our last day of class? We never had a last day of class. The school ran out of funds before the semester ended. But that didn't stop you from making sure that we all spent one last day together. He's not coming. Calm down, he'll be here. What makes you so sure? <laughs> You're in a wheelchair. Tough words from an old hag. If I'm such an old hag, then how's it that I still fit in this bun up that I wore when I was nine? This is the last time I'll probably see these people, so of course it has to be special. You didn't have to see us again, but you wanted to. 
because we were more than a job. Hey, how much to bang all of you? Do I get a group discount? More than a class. The ugly one can hold the camera. <laughs> you believed in us when no one else would. So now it's time to repay the favor, okay? Slow, slow. I'm going slow. God damn it, you're gonna break my car! We're going to LA. We're going, going to, to LA. LA. And I'm really excited. And, and, and nothing, nothing can stop, stop us now. Make <laughs> a sound in your dead, bitch. I don't think he's coming, guys. You literally can't say that. I paid a thousand dollars for this class. How much did you pay for that? A thousand dollars? A thousand dollars. This was 50 bucks on Groupon. What? What did you pay? I just saw him coming in, so I came in. 